How OP is the lie? Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks Ace Tanker series. As you can see today we'll be playing on Siegfried line and we'll be driving one of the probably most OP tanks in tier 5 and that's the OI Experimental. And driving the OI Experimental is Manojlovic. So the OI Experimental is a tier 5 Japanese heavy tank and as you can see you can only Drive this tank in a straight line across through your enemies and friendly tanks and get to the position where you want to be. I'm just joking, so this tank has decent mobility for the weight that it has. It has the weight around 99 tons, which is almost as heavy as the 75 or more. And it's situated at tier 5, so go figure. So with this tank you get a awesome gun, it's a 10cm gun with 130mm of penetration with standard shells. Which in this case in tier 5 games like such as this one is going to penetrate whatever you hit. In, as a matter of fact the worst problem that you will have with this tank is will you go hit anything because the aim time is pretty bad and the Accuracy is pretty bad with 0.41. Now that's not that bad. The, some of the Russian heavy tanks on higher tiers have that accuracy, but still you have to be pretty pretty. Um, have to wait for the gun to aim properly if you want to put shells into enemies. Now this setup is great for this tank. He is in a tier 5 setup playing against some of the other tier 5 tanks. The biggest problem for him is these couple of OIs. He kills one and he's about to flank the other one. So I mentioned the penetration 130mm on the shells. It can go easily through the armor of the OI experimental which has only 75mm to the front and 70 on the sides of the 75mm all around the turret so basically whatever he hits on the enemy OI he is going to penetrate now you can see that he is bouncing some low caliber shells that are hitting his tank the armor is not that great on this tank it can be penetrated by some tier 4s and tier 5s but really who is that crazy to go in front of this gun so he, we are playing here for just a couple of minutes it's the third minute and Manolovic is already on 3 kills and he is going forward, he is fighting now against these KV-1S's so the KV-1S can penetrate this tank but really 2 shots on the OI Experimental and the KV-1S is no more as you just saw there so what am I trying to say to you with this replay there are some tanks in World of Tanks that are really really OP like the KV-1 before this tank was introduced was really OP and this tank is now really OP. So the KV-1 is still a beast in tier 5 if you get the tier 5 matches and it can still hold on its own when you get to tier 7. Also the OI Experimental can hold on its own. Even though the armor is similar to the one of the KV but this tank gets the awesome gun with 130 millimeters of penetration, 300 damage and it can one shot tanks like small tier tanks on tier 3 or tier 4. So Manolovic is on 6 kills, he's on his top gun and as you can see the game is not going that well. When you're playing lower tier games you really have to do your best to carry the games out for your team, never rely that your team will do something because you really don't know what is going to happen. So they are losing now uh, 12 to 10 and Manolovic is trying to find the shots on the remaining enemies. So they have a couple of tier 5s, one of them being the artillery, which can be annoying for this tank because it is really really big and if the artillery starts shooting at you they will probably never miss. He fights the unlucky tank here, kills him for the 7 kill. And now all that you have to do is 
one of the other tanks and finish them off. Now the artillery takes down one of the friendlies. The KV-1S is also dead and now he is left one against three. So the biggest problem for him now is the M4. He will not have problem with these Panzer 3 and Panzer 1C. As you can see the Panzer 3A is really not capable of penetrating. Not the, the Panzer 1C is also not able to penetrate even the side armor which is only 70 millimeters. So what he really needs to be careful here is the M4, but if he finds the M4 and puts two good shots in the M4, the M4 will be dead because this gun is really, really OP and I don't know what the Wargamers was thinking when they introduced this tank, but what you gonna do? So he penetrates the M4, leaves it on one shot. The M4 is putting as much as shells as he can, he is backing up quickly trying to lure the OI into city battle but he was too late to retreat and as you can see Manolovic puts the last shot in him for his ninth kill. Now if he wants to win this game the best bet for him is to go and cap because he will lure the remaining enemy to come and defend then when he comes Manolovic will kill him or even if he doesn't shoot at him he will probably not get reset because the small tank can't even penetrate the armor on this tank. So I was saying on the balancing of some tanks in the game we had the KV-1 before and I don't know how many of you remember the KV-2 gun on the KV-1 before it was split into two tanks which was also on the tier 5 so imagine 700 damage in tier 5 top tier you can get was tier 7 or tier 8 I believe when the matchmaking was worse so pretty much everybody wanted to drive it with the big gun and do a lot of damage and I feel that this time has passed since then but then the Wargaming introduced the OIs which are really really OP in their own matter and it's really something that you have to be prepared if you are going to fight in tier 5 tanks so if you get close to an OI really you try and find the side of the tank and put as much shells as you can and run away don't get shot by the gun on the tank because you will lose your half of your HP now the game is progressing really nicely here. Manolovic was talking to the PZ-1C and the PZ-1C sacrificed his tank for Manolovic to get the 10th kill. And that's really nice of him. That's a GG and let's take a look at the post-game stats. All in all this was a really nice game Manolovic had a couple of medals like Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, a Pulse medal thanks to that PZ-1C, an 18th medal for killing all of the light tanks in the enemy team which is really really nice, Go had a medal for bouncing all those shots from the light tanks, Steel Wall medal, High Caliber medal and of course the Top Gun medal and the Master Badge Ace Tanker. On the team score sheet we can see that he finished first with 1469 experience. He also got 10 kills and 2627 damage. Now even though he had a really good tank in this matchup, you can see that he carried his team because not a lot of his friendly tanks did in this game. Only the OI Experimental and the KV-1S. On detailed report we can see that he fired 14 shots of which 13 hit the target and 13 penetrated. Now remember he killed 10 tanks that means that basically he killed almost a tank per shot which is really really ridiculous in this kind of matchup. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and you saw the possibilities of a tier 5 tank. Tell me what you think about the OI experimental by leaving a comment or answering a poll in the top right corner and I see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching, if you didn't like the video drop a dislike or leave a comment how I can improve the channel. And if you liked the video hit the like button, share and subscribe for more content as it really helps me out a lot. And also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus to get the new content first every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you're wondering what to watch next, hit the little i button in the top right corner and it will lead you to another video. 
See you guys next time.